everybody. We're gonna do an experiment. So, I think I read something about UV light being able to kill fungus and bacteria. I think it was when I was researching my water filtration stuff. So I whipped out the UV light from my uh, backpack. The survival backpack. And I'm just gonna, whoa, that's kinda cool. I'm just gonna shine a little UV light on the mold spots for a little bit. And we're gonna see if it actually kills the mold. It's kinda cool that the plants are coming up like really red. I didn't know that was a thing. That's crazy. But I figure since we are, wow, that's neat. The roses, that's pretty cool. Anyway, back to the mold. Um, hopefully this will kill the area where the fungus gnats are living and feeding. Fingers crossed. It like breaks down the cellular, the cellular DNA of the, the mold and the parasites and the viruses and bacteria and all that stuff. But I feel like I should clarify after, you know, the video that I put up with um, a duet with Ray-Bans. My opinion isn't that we don't need a structure or government or anything like that. It's not anarchistic. That is not at all what I think we need. What I think we need is not to be oppressed by the government. Bottom line, I'm not going to pretend to have solutions for all of the problems. But what I do think is that they don't have our best interest at heart. And I think they'd rather see us unalive than uh, make less money. I think they're probably planning to do that anyway. Well, hold on. Well, Spirit wants me to leave that in. So I guess we're going to leave it in and whatever happens, happens. But... It's not that I don't think we need structure. It's that the current structure we have is bent on our destruction, on our oppression, on controlling how we live, what we can do, our freedoms, our choices, our chances. They want to take our options away. And I am not going to fight for any kind of institution but I will fight for myself I will fight for my family I will fight for my freedom and I will stand tall against anybody that tries to tell me how to live it's not anarchistic anarchy is not something that I would support but I do know what I don't want and that is them having control over what I do. I've always been a very liberal person, but the left has gotten so out of control, it's not, it's not within reason anymore. Back when, when I was younger, the left stood for equality and fairness and the value of the individual person's rights. And that's not what it is anymore. That's not what they stand for anymore. And I think just like this mold, we need to shine a light on it until it's dead. Until that fungus that's infecting our country in the form of governmental oppression is gone on a cellular level. It only takes a couple minutes for the, the UV flashlight to, to eradicate the negative things from the soil or the water or whatever it's being shined on. I 
I think it would be foolish to assume that we don't need any kind of institutions in order for a country to operate. But I think instead of it being on a global scale or on a federal scale, we need to focus down on the community. Things need to happen on a local level. We need to go back to having a baker in every town and having people rely on their neighbors and know their neighbors. We need a sense of community and camaraderie, kinmanship. And they've taken that away from us time and time again. They don't want us to know each other. They don't want us to talk to each other. They don't want us to discuss issues. They would so much rather, what's, what's that thing I've heard? Remove the ballot box rather than read the complaints. We need to understand that the right and the left are two wings of the same bird and that no matter which side you're on, they're pushing a narrative and they do not have our best interests at heart. That they are more than willing to create problems and destruction and end lives, destroy people in order to get their way, in order to keep on poisoning children, adults too, for that matter. It doesn't, it's not just about the Lunchables and the lead that they allow in them because it's cheaper. It's not just about modern medicine being the antithesis of human health. It's not just about freedom of religion or spirituality and them not having a say in what we do and do not believe or practice. It is about the fact that they want to treat us like cattle and take away our ability to even have a problem with that and brainwash us into thinking that that's actually something we want. They don't want us to think for ourselves. They don't want us to have an opinion. And that's why they took away every other... You know, this is not a two-party system. It's not supposed to be. There's supposed to be a hundred other groups that can express their ideals and have people join them and maybe have a shot at getting into office. And that's not a reality. The foundational system itself is so broken that none of those other groups stand a chance in hell. As long as money is running this system, it'll always be broken. And as long as people are profiting from being in charge, It'll always be broken. The people making these decisions. They should not be allowed to stay in office as long as they want to. They should not be able to buy their way in. They should not be one of two options. The whole system needs to crumble. But that doesn't mean not having a system. That means implementing something better. The problem is that the elites, the people in charge right now, even if they're not an elites, you know, as, as we think of them, the people running the system would so much rather hit that big red button and fuck everybody than to give up power and just reform. So we fight that with love and with magic. Spirit has made it very clear where they stand on this. What will be is what Spirit intends. Spirit wants reform. Who are we to argue? We are not cattle.